It's Tuesday, August 17th. I'm Jeff Bacalar and it's time to get loaded. India has joined Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates in threatening to block BlackBerry email service unless Research in Motion implements a secure monitoring service. The countries claim that militants and terrorists can use the secure email service to plan attacks within the country. RIM, for its part, says that it is technically incapable of accessing the emails of corporate users then actually promotes the fact as a security feature. India has stated that RIM has until the end of the month before they pull the plug on an estimated 1 million BlackBerry users. Adobe has come out and said, we've moved on just three months after the company ran ads in order to ease tensions with Apple over the Flash platform on the web. Apple has taken a hard stance in disallowing Flash to work on their devices in hopes of a worldwide adoption of HTML5 even though Flash remains quite relevant on the net. Barnes & Nobles has announced that its Nook e-reading software will be available for the iPod Touch, iPhone, iPad, and PC. The new program is easy to use and offers tons of customization, including font, color, and brightness settings. Best of all, the app will be free. In more mobile app news, Microsoft has begun outlining the first Xbox Live games that will be available for its Windows Phone 7 operating system when it's released later this year. The list is actually pretty long and impressive, including some hit titles like Castlevania, Earthworm Jim, Guitar Hero 5, Puzzle Quest 2, and Splinter Cell Conviction. Finally, China's second largest mobile phone carrier, China Unicom, will begin selling the iPhone 4 next month. The company has also been in talks with Apple to begin selling the iPad, though no timetable on that product has been announced. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Jeff Bacalar for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.